Nikola stock continues to sell. It's down 15% on the day. Go take a look at the chart and look at some of the tweets from the CEO, Trevor Milton. He was all about coming out and telling us the secrets and, and debunking all the lies last night. But then this morning, it looks like Nikola's playing the legal defense. Going to break it down here in this video. What's going on with Nikola in KLA? Let's go. What's going on, guys? Patrick here, and today we're talking about Nikola Motor Company, Nikola Car Hydrogen. Not, what do we even call this company at this point other than just smoke and mirrors, vapor wear? Now, the stock currently is down 16% on the day, down there to the $31 area. And I love, I want to, I, first off, I want to debunk a couple things because everybody's like thinking that the short sellers are the ones that are running this company into the ground. But really, all the short sellers did was basically put out information, put out research that debunks what the company has been promising with their hydrogen electric vehicles that really they have they have no idea how to make it work other than just renderings and ideas and dreams just a lot of hoping and a lot of praying and what's sad about this what's really sad about this whole entire setup here is that recently nikola came out with news gm came out with news gm and nikola came out with news that they were partnering on their new truck the badger and you can see the stock hit a high of 54 dollars 55 dollars back there on Tuesday of this week. Today's Friday and the stock continues to plummet. Now, people have been asking me, you know, what is a realistic target for downside here on this company? And the way that I'm looking at it is that there's really just no reason for this company to find support for quite some time. If you look at the chart, this stock was already trading under the ticker symbol VTIQ in the past. And for quite some time back there in March, the stock just went sideways and recently had that big spike when the whole deal got done and it got this insane move, this just retarded move up there to the $95 area. So hopefully nobody bought this stock when it was $90 and is still holding because if you're a shareholder at the $90 area, well, you're going to be hurting for quite some time. And now what I want to point out here is that there's another company that's very similar to this. Not so much that they've got vaporware, but I just want to point out that even a company that makes millions of dollars, even a company that's a profitable business in general, even a company that's been selling, you know, actually selling a product can still just slide off forever and never go back to the highs. So if you look at a stock like GoPro, look at, if you look at a stock like GoPro, now this is trading at $3.80 today. And if you go back, you go way, way back here, there was a point where GoPro was trading at $95. You, I don't think you guys can even see it because it was that far. But back in 2014, 2015, when GoPro came out with their IPO, they had you know, some insane action. People thought that GoPro was the future of camera technology and things like that. But here we are today. So I want to make it very clear for people out there who think that just because Nikola is a big company, just because they've got partnerships, that they can't go lower. You know, that it just can't go lower. I'm telling you right now, the stock can always go much, much lower, much lower. And I'm personally looking to buy puts on Nikola in the future with expiration probably at the end of October. We're kind of looking to see if we can get a little pop or a little green or something. I don't want to just buy puts when the stock's just selling off down 16%. I want to look for a little bit of opportunity to buy a better premium for those puts. So I will, I will make it public that I am short, you know, thesis. My thesis is definitely short on Nikola. Because, again, if you look at GoPro, this is a company that was in Best Buy. This is a company that sold millions and millions of cameras. And still, the stock is getting hammered because of what the actual company, the fundamentals. At the end of the day, the hype only lasts so long. The hype only lasts so long. So let's look at the Twitter from the CEO. This is Trevor Milton, the CEO of Nikola. I love that, I, I love that he... Talked a really big game, right? I've been working on a rebuttal of the Hindenburg research for 14 hours to provide a clear, factual, low emotion answer to the report. It will be out before the market opens and working through the night. So he says he spent 14 hours to answer the Hindenburg report. And now this morning there is no answer. There's just a press release that's basically a blanket press release saying that they are going 
saying that yesterday an activist short seller whose motivation is to manipulate the market and profit from manufacturing and manufacture decline in their stock price uh, is misleading information and is salacious. So, so first off, is it misleading that Trevor said that they had solar panels on the roof of their headquarters when they didn't? I, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know how Hindenburg is telling people that these lies are not real or these promises aren't real. These, uh, I don't even what you, these claims aren't real by the CEO. I don't know how the company is going to be able to now spin this and tell us, like, hey, no, no, Trevor, he wasn't lying about the solar panels because there is solar panels. On, the solar panels are on the roof and they're they're made of hydrogen. It's a hydrogen solar panel, right? We're that far into the future here. And I love this now. Okay, so he's saying that Nikola has retained outside counsel with Kirkland and Ellis LLP and has authorized them to reach out directly to the SEC. I'd be careful, Trevor. I'd be real careful going over and talking to the SEC because there's a good chance that you're going to be talking to the SEC very soon. So I'd be careful. I, I don't know. Maybe who knows what's really going on over there at Nickel anymore. No one even has a clue at this point. And he said that he will not comment any further on what is going on because of the SEC involvement, which, again, is amazing because – don't don't promise people. Don't don't act like a badass. You know, don't act like a badass on Twitter, and then come out and go, oh uh, no, I can't talk about it because uh, no. What happened is the company read his rebuttal. The legal team read his rebuttal, and then they were like, wow, yeah, uh, we need we need legal. We need some serious legal counsel because your rebuttal doesn't actually debunk any of their statements. So. Uh, yeah, not good. So it's all, you know, it's one thing to to have dreams, to have hopes, to believe that your product is going to be amazing in the future. I'm all about that. I'm all about America building better products. But at the end of the day, when you get caught, when you get caught lying about solar panels, saying that you're the most techni technologically advanced company, when you lie about solar panels on the on the roof of your corporate offices when you lie about that what else will you lie about at that point because that's like that's such a dumb lie like why even claim that why make a claim that you are producing solar energy when you're not why like what's the pro like what is your what is what's what's the benefit of making that lie so i i don't know and it's funny now because trevor's posting some photos of a semi truck in uh germany you know it's just like the whole thing just really smells and really reeks. It really reeks of uh, of bad, bad, bad stuff with this company. And uh, I'm interested to see what happens in the future. A lot of questions need to be answered. And it seems like now the company is going to play quiet or going to be silent and not answer any of those questions because they're dealing with the SEC. But like I said, the SEC starts to dig into these accusations. They're going to want answers as well. So Trevor's going to have to answer a few a few questions at some point here. We'll find out what happens. That's the news today. Nikola not coming out with a rebuttal, not answering any questions, not giving us any clarity. So the stock continues to sell. There it is. We'll see what happens moving forward. Don't forget that this was the channel. We put out the information before Nikola went public. We put out the information about the hype that was coming with the EV electric market. And then again, we put out a video talking about Nikola dropping 50% from the highs and currently at $30, we're doing pretty good with our predictions on this stock. And like I said, and and like I and uh, we're doing pretty good with our predictions on the stock. And I'm thinking that this stock has a lot more downside to come. So if you guys haven't already, do me one big favor, hit that like button, subscribe button, all the buttons down below. Let's see. Let's see what happens.